Hello everyone, Anthony here once again, and this time with Webcam On, with episode 11 of creating a modular production-ready blockchain from scratch in Golang. And as usual, today we're gonna left, we're gonna continue where we left off, rather, and that's... So previous episode, we did refactor RPC handler and processor. So today I think we can create a block, which is a very milestone, big milestone. But I'm thinking, I also have a very good idea what we can do with this blockchain because right now we're just making a blockchain, but I want to make some, some good use case for it. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep it secret. I'm going to keep it secret. That's for later on. Uh, let's focus. Focus task at hand for today is basically open up our server and go and fix an issue that I uh, basically catched when I was rereading my own code. So maybe people already know, noticed this uh, potential issue. Not a potential issue. It's it's a big issue and it's a nasty issue. It's it's a snake in the grass that uh, will shoot you in the head. Um, when you at least when you never expect it so the problem is some little education before we fix it, before we continue so we have this start function which basically creates um this for select loop and we have something that we call the ticker point c which is an interval that takes every block time which for now is five seconds can be changed later on, later on. And we have an issue with this thing. B one, issue one is if this server is no validator, there is no need to create this ticket. Issue two is this RPC channel basically cock blocks this ticket, this channel. And what I mean by that is um, each time the transport is sending us messages, we're going to decode it and we're going to process the message and it can take time. It will not take a lot of time, but it will take time. And it could be that our ticker will never get hit because we are in here. So let's say it's four seconds and this ticker, this ticker uh, is going to trigger in one second, but then somebody send us a big, big transaction uh, with nasty logic and it takes two seconds, well, this ticker is not gonna is, is not gonna get triggered. So the problem is everything is going out of sync, out of sync, out of sync, and this ticker is not re uh, reliable, and our block time is basically, people are gonna roast us on Reddit, and they're gonna do anything, they come to my house, they're gonna pitchfork, uh, because this thing is not reliable. So we're gonna fix it, and how are we gonna do this is basically, um, say something like validator loop oh block time and then we say four we're gonna make a loop right here and we're gonna wait for the sticker print C and then we're gonna say create block do we have create block? Yes, create new block, okay? Then we're gonna delete this. And wait. Delete the sticker, and then we're gonna say if uh, aspirant is validator, uh, we're gonna say aspirant uh, validator loop, okay? So now we're only gonna trigger this, uh, boot up this nude, nude, <laughs> boot up this loop, rather, when it's a validator. Yes, that's good. Okay, cool. The next thing we, we're gonna do is we have, uh, I introduced this package, Cerebsum Locherus, but I wanna use something else because right now, if you go to main, uh, there is no way we can, uh, in these options here, there is no way we can pass a logger. And yeah, I, maybe I want to pass my own logger, maybe I want to uh, overwrite a logger, maybe I want to do some nasty stuff with a logger. Always a good practice to make your code as extensible, extendable, whatever the name is, 
as possible. So we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna install uh, go get go get log. So go get is basically for the people that don't know is a package created by Peter Bergen, if I uh, pronounce that correctly. Very nice developer, uh, very active in the space. I'm not sure if he is still, but um, he created that and it's for creating microservices in Go. And I was a contributor back in the days and I still follow the project. And um, the log is pretty nice. It's a structure logger, it's, it's, it's neat, it's nice. It's all we need. So we're gonna say in the server ops, uh, we have a logger, which is a log and logger. Yeah, and Visual Studio is lagging. You see, it cannot. <laughs> GitHub.com, go get log. And we're gonna say, if there is no logger passed, we're gonna say opspin logger is gonna be, no, if opspin logger is nil, we're gonna say, New FMT STD hash uh, like this, and we say ID, and then we're gonna add an ID which is a string to the server ops. And the reason for that is so we can actually prefix our server with uh, something recognizable. And we can say, um, local, yeah, come on. Yes, cool. And we're gonna remove this thing, mempoop and has, this is gonna trigger a lot. So what we're gonna do is basically dumpster it. And here we can say aspen logger log message adding adding new tx to mempool uh, hash which is the hash and then we say mempool len or even length uh, is going to be s mempool len and call it a day delete this maybe we can make it cleaner like this 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 and this and now we need to change i think here we used uh, visual studio R. and then just copy this and delete this and we are gucci and test. Yeah, working like a charm. Uh, uh, one more thing I wanna do before we actually go to the block part of things. Oh wait, we can do S uh, message. Should we capitalize it, why not? Should not, like this and this um, starting uh, validator loop block time maybe and say as spent block time Done. okay yeah let's uh, first of all I want to add a private key uh, private key to this, which is gonna be a priv key. We don't have a priv key, so we're gonna make one. Crypto, generate private key, and this needs the pointer. Make run. Cool. Yeah, so you see, starting validator loop, block time five seconds, all good. Our note is now a validator. Congratulations. Oh, oh, a little stretch. Oh. All right. 
Yeah, let's test, uh, make test real quick to see. Yeah, okay. Creating blocks. First of all, open a block. Um, there is one more issue actually with block. And that's basically, uh, so we're going to make the block right here. Create new block. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Um, couple things actually that comes in my mind. First of all, we need a blockchain. In the server. And blockchain right now, let's open it up. To be honest, blockchain is a structure and I want it to be an interface because now we're going to say something like um, For example, we could do it in server options, why not, and say a blockchain And we expect it to be a blockchain, which is very um, bad I think it's a corporate blockchain to be honest, yep So now you we need to specifically put in a blockchain and it's that thing uh, on the other side here and i want it to be an interface but i don't want to implement it right now i don't want to convert it to an interface um, well it's not converting we could do something like chainer uh interface oh man interface yeah and then say something like um what do we have uh, like add block you know um and then say, instead of a corporate blockchain, we, we, we give it a corporate chain or something, you know? But that's not what we're gonna do for now. We're gonna say, we're gonna add it later. Easy. Okay, um, block, issue with block. Let me show you. Let's close this. Um, we have something what's called a data hash. And the data hash is basically the hash of all our transactions. Let's open a transaction. Transaction. Yeah. So basically the data hash is the hash of all data, which gonna contains our scripts or whatever we wanna place into it. And we don't have it, so we need to make it. We're gonna say, yeah, uh, calculate uh, block, no, data hash. We're gonna give it a slice of uh, transactions. It's gonna return a type, spent hash, and an error. Transactions. It's transaction, of course. Um, Yeah, uh, so we do this and then uh, not nil. Yeah, we're gonna say return and we cannot return nil because type spent hash is not a pointer. So we do this and the error. And otherwise, we could also do something else like maybe we should do. Should we do it or should we don't? Well, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Uh, so we're gonna do hash. Wait, is type spent? Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. Like this. Yeah, can I do that? Probably I can. Um, and say add. It's a long time that I did it like this. It's 
Shit, it's such a bad practice, I'm not gonna lie. This is... Ah, oh, man. What it's actually... Ash declared in this block, is it? Is it? Can I just do this? Holy shit, this is nice. I, I don't like this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, just because I can. So, wait, so we what we do, we create a buffer and actually, we create a buffer, we loop through uh, all our TX we give it and then we just uh, encode this transaction uh, in this, into that buffer and then we can say that the uh, hash is going to be this the SHA, I think it's 265 uh, sum 265 and we say it's going to be the buff buns bytes okay and actually yeah and then we return yeah Yeah, why not? Why not? Calculate the data hash. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, we forgot something very important. I just noticed. Look at this verify function. So we also need to verify if the data hash is exactly the data hash we calculate. So if I get a block with transactions and somebody says, hey, yo, this is the data hash. I cannot assume that that's true because you can never trust anybody in your life except yourself. So we need to check that thing. Uh, what we're gonna do is hash is gonna be um, calculate data hash block and transactions, and then we're gonna say if we should call it data hash. Whatever. Uh, if it has no, 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 return block uh, percent s uh, has an invalid data hash. Problem is uh, b print hash, and it's gonna be a block hash it like this. Right. Yeah. Of course, if we uh, make tests, we're gonna be in big issues, and that's because if we open up um, block tests, we don't set it. to think about this because we can do something very nasty uh, because it's basically just a test helper function so we can be nasty in those things but um, so the thing is if, if I want to share my thought process I want to basically when somebody calls new block I want to calculate the data hash right here but the problem is that um, we also have something like add transaction. So if somebody calls new block and then adds transaction, then the data hash is not gonna work. Um, we could say that we recalculate it here. Yeah, 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 but to be honest, this add transaction function, uh, we can skip it to be honest, but for now we can just leave it in. 20 minutes in, so we have some time. Um, I don't think we're gonna, Construct a complete block because I need to make sure 
that we are doing things that make sense. So random block with signature. If we do it here, then this is gonna fail because we use this in a, yeah, we use it here. Actually, to be honest, a random block, right? And then let's do just uh, testing a T and then we say height and prep block hash. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this. Random block. Takes with signature. We do this. The beep and sign is the block. Uh, then we're gonna say B is gonna be a new block and then beep and sign with the brief key. It's gonna be an assertion. Yeah. completely throw that away tx uh, and then we're gonna say basically this and I don't know this would say it returns a pointer right why does it return a pointer to be honest who does this where is it uh, transaction test to be honest yeah Random this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We, we will. Um, we don't call it. Well. Okay, and then. We don't need to do it here, so let's just return no point there. Um, we sign it, and then we can say mm. the reason why I don't include data hash inside of the block is basically because. Um, we will need this function outside of the block scope. Calculate data hash. Uh, beep and transactions. T hash and then uh, B header. Data hash is going to be our data hash and we call it a day, I think. Not sure if it's correct. And I made a mistake. What is this? Missing return, oh yeah, sure. Okay. It's not gonna work to be honest, but why not? <sighs> yeah. Run on block. Random block. Random block. Because it's going to have a signature. And we could do like a replace all, I know, but hey. Uh, and this needs T. Oh. We're almost there. So what have you now? Uh, not enough random block. Where's this blockchain test? Let's open it up. Um, and you see that I'm getting 
I'm getting hurt. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so it's working, but um, the problem is that we basically have pointer and no pointer uh, because we did some shenanigans in transaction tests. Uh, oh man, <laughs> transaction test. So what's the issue? Um, Forty three. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I really don't like the, the way pointers are getting, incons the inconsistency with pointers is such a thing. The question is when do you use a pointer and when, when don't you use a pointer? It's the, the answer is actually very simple. You never use a pointer. You never do it. No, the thing is um, those, those, if you wanna make a basic, if you can avoid it, avoid it. But if you want to make a very fast and memory efficient system and, and you need to process a lot of data, for example, if you need to process 10,000 of transactions and you basically copy and pasting this transaction across your program in every function, because that's what happens if you pass in something into a function, you copy the whole uh, shenanigans uh, into that function and then it returns. And, and, and. so, it's it's it, it's it's an overhead, especially when um, when there's a lot of data inside of it. So what you can do is basically use a pointer, and um, so it only uses eight 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 bytes instead of whatever. So and of course, if you have a pointer, you can adjust values, and and because it points to the same thing, blah 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 blah, but. I, 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 I never do this. I try to never do it, adjusting values on pointers and because it's data corruption and you will cry. You will cry yourself to sleep. Um, and that's why Rust is, is a good language, but Rust is... It's, it's too big of an idea, to be honest. Um, let's get back to business. 30 minutes, uh, so okay, we, we fixed that, data hash, that's good, that's very good. So now we need to, because I'm getting out of track, uh, and I really want to enjoy the weather outside, so I need to wrap this up as soon as possible. Block. Server. Let's 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 do some some nice stuff. So we know we want to have a blockchain in our server, and we need to have an interface, but we don't have it. So we're gonna say chain is gonna be a block, uh, core point blockchain, uh, like this. We need to create one. Um, how does it work? New blockchain. Uh, Chain R is core and new blockchain. We need a Genesis block. Call it a day. And now we have an issue because uh, our new server doesn't return an error and. Uh, we need to, we need to, we need to. And now we can say that our uh, chain is gonna be the, ch the chain, okay? We're gonna have some issues. Uh, let's go 
to main and that is not nil uh, log point fatal I know we could use our logger and everything but it's just for whatever uh, let's make test uh, make run actually Speaking of pointers, eh? Speaking of pointers. Add block without validation. Should it be? I know what it is actually. I think it's. I think it's um, something to do with the Genesis block from the top of my mind. Yeah, and yeah, 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 that's a thing, right? That's a thing. So, uh, what happening is um, we calling add block without validation on our Genesis block, and we say BC but headers, but headers is a po uh, header is a pointer, and that's not initialized because I'm stupid. Well, it's not because I'm stupid, I, I am stupid, but the thing is that. I did a new corporate block just to get rid of all the errors and everything, but I should actually wait. Somebody is somebody is doing nasty stuff on my phone. Uh, the problem is that uh, we should pause in something decent, actually. Um, but the, the thing is, what's a good Genesis block, right? Um, Maybe we could do it in block or in servers. Uh, Genesis block. What am I missing? Oof. It doesn't matter, pref block hash. We can leave that open. Because Go will initialize this to a type spent hash uh, zero. So it's okay. The height. Uh, hmm. Is blockchain taking care of this? Probably not. Yeah, so we have a header and then we say, um, we don't have transactions yet, so we say return core new block and um, say headers and um, no, and hopefully that will uh, do something uh, better than we did before. Genesis block. Yeah. Yay. Adding a new block. It's the Genesis. So far, so good. Uh, that's the Genesis block. So we. We needed to do that. We have the chain, so that's good. Now we can say. Uh, one more thing I want to do basically is blockchain. 
We see that we're still using Lochris here, so I'm gonna see. Okay, we need to find a way to let's that's for that's for later on. So BC is a separate thing. So we need to find a way to add uh, our logger, and that could be something in here. Um, we're gonna make a new logger because it's gonna have a new prefix. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's good. It's good. But that's for later on. Yeah, creating a block. So, what do we need first? Ref uh, header, no, basically current header. It's gonna be as per chain punt get header. Um, as per chain punt height. Uh, okay, it's gonna be an error. Say if R is not is not now, we will return the errors. Let's try to do something very very simple for now. Because what I want to do is, if we go to block uh, real quick, we have new block. But actually, I want to make a function that calls uh, func. For example, a new block from header, and we give it a header, and we give it uh, transactions, yeah, and that will return us return us a block or an error. And basically, if we have the header, a new block from header, maybe we should call it new block from pref header. Or current header, whatever. Well, yeah, could be, could be, could be double. So, and then we can say then we have this information to create a block. Uh, maybe we should do this actually. Uh, block r is corpent new block from previous header. Current header like this. If there is an error. Uh, we return the edge. Then we have a block. What the hell is this? Transactions. Um, yeah. So this is a, this is basically the moment where we go to our mempool and uh, calculate how many transactions fit in a block. How many transactions do fit in a block? Well, we can determine. Um, for Bitcoin, it's based on the size. For Ethereum, it's based on the complexity of the of the smart contract, which is the gas limit. Um, but for us, we don't know yet what we're gonna do. Uh, maybe on size, maybe on a co we don't know. Uh, that's for later. So for now, we're gonna say no, no transactions, uh, just to make this kind of sketch things out. So block R, uh, and then we say, yeah, then we say, um, for example, has been chain add block at uh, block which is this block nil the thing is we should call this new block in a in a go routine Maybe, maybe not, maybe it is. Um, so let's finish this up.
uh, data hash pref hash uh, yeah pref hash is gonna be uh, what are we in core right it's a hasher no uh, how, what did we have uh, for for hasher hash er block hasher block hasher um, and hash this header the previous header the current header yeah new block from header maybe we should actually uh, say pref header to be honest um, like this uh, what's going on block hasher pref hash what Prefash. Okay, then we have also uh, timestamp, yeah, which is a time from now Unix Nano. What do we have? Uh, height actually, yeah, 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 yeah. The height. That's easy. It's basically uh, pref headers punt height uh, one. Okay, 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 okay. And then we say uh, return new block um, headers and txx. Why is new block this could be issues to be honest but I don't care I'm gonna make this an error come on and the reason The reason why I'm doing this is because ay, ay, ay. block test and um, should we test this? Uh, yeah, why not? Hundred one hundred seventy nine servers. Uh, yeah, or Genesis block. Yeah, this should be. Yeah, for now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna just make it work. So it's um, B errors, I'm gonna be this thing. Actually, I'm gonna say this, return B. Yeah. yeah. Test maybe. Okay, test working fine. So let's recap, create block. So we have a current header block and then we say add to block. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's just waiting. So normally uh, we shall create a block and then we will see what happens. Nothing is happening. Wait, did we? Okay, that's no Gucci. Um... Aspen chain and add block, so that should normally lock. This and we didn't. Why is that? Could 
could be to could be has something to do with transactions. Not gonna lie. Um, Forty-five minutes. So we need to wrap this up. I'm trying to think what's going on. So I think because there is no login that. So this is gonna work perfectly fine, right? So if you do, uh, if you print this block, I think that's gonna work fine. Yeah. Nil, nil. Well, I think. Don't we, we are not signing this thing? That's the problem. Um, yeah. So maybe we should do something like uh, we're gonna sign this thing with the server and private key. Because we are creating this block, uh, so we return the edge like this, and maybe some verification that 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 didn't work out or something. I don't know. Aha! See now it's working. So now we are making new blocks every five seconds, as you can see. Hi too. I'm gonna make this a little bit. Of course, the thing that we don't do is including our transactions, right? And um, that's for the next episode. And in the next episode, we're gonna basically uh, go to our mempool because I think there's a little, little, little issue with our mempool still um, to delete them. I need to, we need to check how we're gonna fix it because we want to maintain a list of, of transactions, but we don't want to keep this list growing into eternity. We want to have some kind of a flushing mechanism that can flush the last five or something. And, and we have an addict and we have no ordering and I don't know, it's going to be nasty, but we're going to fix it. So uh, that was it for today. Uh, we created a block, we did some other cool stuff uh, that was needed. And we are uh, at high 12, ladies and gentlemen, we're making progress. And that's exactly what life is all about, making progress. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see and you see what you like, please hit the thumbs up. It helps me. It helps distributing these videos much faster. Thanks to our YouTube algorithm. And um, subscribe to the channel so you get notified when there is a new episode. And there is a little surprise in the next one. I'm going to reveal uh, what you're going to do with this chain. We're going to make it nice. We're going to do something very special.